hello guys we are back with our next set of tutorials in this tutorial let's see let's go through unit 3 of environmental science it is biodiversity okay it is as it is the first video let's go through what is biodiversity importance of biodiversity and some types of biodiversity okay basically biodiversity the term biodiversity is defined as the variety of plants and animal life in the world or in a particular habitat this definition is also similar to ecosystem guys it is almost similar so basically biodiversity the term biodiversity is defined as the variety of plants and animal life in the world or in a particular habitat is called as biodiversity okay I hope everyone got an idea on biodiversity so different examples are different types of ecosystem like aquatic terrestrial ecosystems etc so let us go through types of biodiversity biodiversity is basically divided into two types one of them is genetic another one is species so let's go go through genetic first the variety of genes or inher inheritable characters that characteristics that are present in the population comprises its genetic diversity genetic diversity is nothing but genetics means those properties which are inherited from our parents they travel through genes the word which we use to indicate the things is genes so this genetic diversity refers to the diversity of genes within a species yeah that's fine next it is related to the number of genes in a particular population yeah for a single oh, okay let us take an example of rice there are many types of rices each company will be having different different rices so the changes are those genetic things the small small changes shows the variation so if we take an example domestic dogs there are many breeds of dogs like that and woody plant species yeah okay let's go through species diversity now species diversity is the number of different species that are present in a given community the effective number of species refers to the number of equally abundant species i hope everyone got a small idea on species okay let's go through an example okay, just a second guys okay the number of species that the number of species that live in a certain location is called as species richness example plants animals and people okay it has been estimated that more than 1.7 million species have been discovered by by sorry this is by ecologists view that there are million more we don't know I hope everyone got a small idea on species diversity so let's go through ecosystem diversity ecosystem diversity refers to the various variety of ecosystem in a given area where in a community of organisms interact with the physical environment climate and temperature I hope everyone got a small idea on ecosystem previous in the previous chapter we have discussed all about ecosystem so if you want you can repeat those points even and whenever you come to eco ecosystem diversity ecosystem diversity refers to the variation of ecosystems in a given area where in a community community of organisms interact with each other with physical environments like chem, climate and temperature so I hope everyone got a small idea let us go through some examples an ecosystem can occupy a large area of thousands of kilometers okay examples are like ocean water sea horses of rocks and sandy beaches okay i hope everyone got a small idea on what is diverse biodiversity and types of biodiversity okay human and their activities have a considerable effect on species and ecosystem diversity causing it causes global warm global warming changes as the temperature increases and introduction of exotic species exotic species are not nothing but they are which are going to ex extinct okay basically what is a species 
a group of living organism consisting of similar individual individual capabilities of exchanging genes i hope everyone got a small idea let's go through the definition once again a group of living organisms consisting of a similar individual capabilities of exchanging genes like butterflies can do it fishes vultures and all animals and a rain a rainforest consists of thousands of species of different animals and plants as a forest is a place for plants and animals so let us go through what is the importance or assessment what are the main assessments and objectives of biodiversity biodiversity assessment may be defined as a specific analysis of the wide range of issues views and the- theories related to biodiversity it is nothing but to understand what is biodiversity to explain about it and what should we do to save biodiversity and this is what will be ass- assignments assessments okay the main objectives are to provide an overview of biodiversity status and biodiversity status we need to have awareness and we have to provide awareness to everyone okay and to analyze and evaluate the impact or contribution to biodiversity because yes, this is also an important objective okay. okay let's go through major causes for biodiversity assessment urbanization is a major cause deforestation which means reducing in green cover throughout the world soil erosion it is nothing but loss of fertility illegal business like smuggling yeah smuggling products next exploitation of natural resources exploitation is nothing but over usage of natural resources okay next what are the causes growing demand of the earth's resources due to rise in population this is going to be a huge cause for biodiversity next lack of public awareness yeah this is one of the main fact again lack of understanding among the people yeah lack of knowledge about the economic economics of ecosystem and biodiversity as these two are the key bones of our society so we should have lots and lots of knowledge and awareness so i hope everyone got a small idea on biodiversity in the next tutorial let's see all about geographical parts of india or geographical zones of india thank you thanks for watching